This is the wire-free 4G cellular battery camera, which comes with a solar panel. This makes the camera completely wireless, apart from the 3 meter lead going from the solar panel to the camera. It has a micro USB end on it. You can see the paperwork that comes with it. This is 28 European countries the SIM card works in. But you can add your own SIM card. Here's the SIM card that's included and some tweezers to help insert it. But all plugs and screws and the bracket. First we're looking at the bracket for the solar panel which you can twist to tighten. It's got three holes at the back to mount to a wall. It's also an extra cable to charge the camera if you need to. Now we're looking at the camera itself. We've got the camera, the LED lights, the sensor, the microphone and the speakers on the back. At the bottom we've got the power button, micro SD card slot, nano SIM slot and a reset button. Looking at the bottom part of the bracket you have the micro USB port where you're plugging your cable from the solar panel which you can remove this rubber plug. This is the easy to install bracket. I actually prefer this design over the solar panel bracket as it's easier to mount this one to the wall and the camera simply slots on and you can put in your screws from the side by hand. To store your footage you can you can use the cloud storage or insert your own micro SD card which you can use up to a maximum of 128 gigabyte. Now we're going to insert this SIM card. This is so that you receive mobile data to view your camera so you don't connect to a Wi-Fi unit. You get your signal to view the camera via this SIM card or any SIM card that you want to add. Now you're going to download the IE Geek Cam app and follow through these steps. Waiting to connect. Tap next to show a QR code from the lens. Connecting. Please wait. Connecting. Please wait a moment. If you click on the three dots at the top, you'll be able to see all your settings. First I'm going to screw the bracket to the wall. Mount the camera. Here you can see the date and time in the left hand corner. You can see the camera records in a nice wide angle view. You can see your 4G signal and your battery. If you turn your phone sideways it will change to full screen. If you press the PTZ button you can then tap the left and right up and down arrow for the camera to move. Or scroll your finger on the screen left and right and the camera will also move and when you tap the screen the icons will appear and when the camera moves it's almost silent I can't hear a thing as it moves and when adjusting the camera whilst watching the horse he doesn't notice at all the blue LED on the left of the camera is the charging LED and the blue light on the right side is the working LED which you can turn the light off Now we're going to test out the light. The camera will record in black and white for the infrared, or you can set for the light to come on with a motion detection, which will then record in color. Now we're going to test out the mic. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Can Hello. Hear me? Hello. 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 My camera Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Now looking into some of the settings with alarm management you can set for the audio warning and strobe light but I won't be using that. You can check out the battery status. Recording you can check out how much footage is saved to your micro SD card. This will only record short clips of motion detection. This will not record 
you can select how many gigabytes you want on the app for your mobile data or you can get your own data only SIM and use it that way. That way you can sort out the SIM card deal that suits you best. This is a great way of being able to install your camera anywhere as long as you receive a 4G signal which then allows you to view from anywhere on your phone. Here I'm just showing you clicking through some of the quick accessible icons which you can adjust some of the settings quickly. Check the footage save, you can go to messages then click onto the camera. You can see all the times recorded on what day which you can click on to review which will show the recording in a blue mark which you can scroll through the timeline. This is the explore. You can click on the me tab you can share this camera with others. If you had tapped record or photo icon that will then be saved in the album section which you can share with friends or save to your phone. Here you can change your light settings here you can activate the siren.